Hey guys, welcome to yet another episode of Pro Evolution Soccer 2013 and today we have an exhibition match which is gonna be a little different because I know I say it all the time but this time it really is different because we have a team from the Asia Oceania uh, quarter of things in Pro Evolution Soccer with Uzbekistan taking on the European Giants in England. So it's gonna be one of the matches where I may lose by the biggest margins ever but it's gonna be fun to lose as well in this kind of matchup because we seriously we are the underdogs we are heavily heavily uh, lagging behind this heavily heavily you know team of England obviously they are pretty pretty nice team they have a solid team and we obviously I don't even know the na players names and all those things but it's gonna be fun because football is a game after all and uh, anything can happen in this beautiful sport of football so as you can see I'm going with the 2 3 1 4 formation because seriously if I need to win this one I need to go all at all out attacks I'm sorry for that okay so my fingers are not in the central midfield as I would always put them like here but they are up up there because I need them to be in attacking positions okay so that's gonna be my game plan let's go just have a quick look at the settings a little regular match level match time of five minutes injuries is on conditions for home and away normal uh, extra time is on penalty kicks are on number of substitutions is three let's change the stadium it's San Siro by default for me I'll just go with a different stadium oh this one looks beautiful Alliance Arena uh, let's keep it nighttime yeah nighttime is pretty good let's keep it winter and it's raining wow what a fantastic condition for playing the game and we'll have this one no um, okay this one is looking good so we'll go with this one so we have the ball type set the stadium set the game plan set and we are going to kick off now a fantastic alliance arena it's looking beautiful it's raining heavily obviously it's it makes for some really difficult gameplay and it leads to you know a really slippery surface to play on your shots will not be on target as you would expect it to be because the dynamics of the weather does play a part in your final gameplay so here we have the opening ceremony with the national anthems playing out and the players being showcased so they have made a good deal about the animation over here but seriously they still sometimes they look a little chalky a little you know plasticky I would say obviously it's an animation so nothing can be done about that but the crowd looks pretty good compared to FIFA 13 I have to say the crowd animations and the crowd look really nice and I see a lot of supporters for Uzbekistan fantastic I did not know that Uzbekistan had so many supporters so here we have the squad lineup obviously we don't know any of the players I would say the formation is looking good for us right now and we have the England lineup oh absolutely filled with superstars of football right now absolute superstars okay so it's match time and it's all about winning so let's get right down to the gameplay let's get let, let, let's get this game on the road I'm so excited about this one so it's gonna be tough because obviously as you make the passes as you make your runs it's not gonna be as fluid as with other international players it's gonna be really difficult to keep the ball under control keep players off the pressure and uh, keep them making you know making a headway into the into the opposition's territory so it's gonna be extra hard work for us it's not gonna be simple because we don't have that great players to you know aid us in our gameplay so it's all gonna be about my gameplay so let's see what I can do and that goes our first shot and beautiful beautiful shot over there a little hurried obviously it's a little hurried because I took the shot without the first touch I just wanted to go for it and go for it he did but the defender comes in the way and he makes a stop so corner kick for us let's make this one really into the dead center oh I don't think I'm I will be scoring from the corner kicks because um, defender, defenders in general are going to be right on the right on the ball and they're going to make sure that uh, none of our attackers have that opportunity to 
you know, really get a solid chance in. So, you know, using headers and aerial crosses is not going to be our thing. We just have to make sure that uh, we get precision short passes out there with uh, really counter-attacks being our absolute saviors, if I may. So England on the attack now. Ashley Cole from the left wing. How many times have we seen him do that for England and for Chelsea? Playing on the left wing. Playing as a defender but going on to attack. Oh, and England made a mistake. And we have the ball now. So we have to make quick passes because otherwise we are going to be caught by the defenders. And we're going to be caught by them too. So we just need to keep the ball moving from... Uh, all, all directions rather than just going in just one general direction and that's going to be a part of our gameplay today that's how we're going to be playing so as you see I'm making a lot of back passes because I'm not getting that entry point into the England England side of things so okay so we got to run over here let's see if we can make a cross yes we do but as I said the crosses it's it's not going to help us that much because the English defenders are going to be on it on top of it Oh, that was no way close. That was a, a... It could have been a good attempt, but somehow we messed it up. So, till this point, I have... Uh, I wouldn't say I've dominated, but I have had some good attacks. I wouldn't say that we are playing badly. We are playing pretty well. And if we play like this, we might just get a goal in. And that might uh, just help us win this one. The goalkeeper should get it. Yes, he does. So our midfield is pretty clustered right now because we are making a lot of midfield passes. We're not going forward as soon as we get a chance because there is no, you know, big openings for us. And that's half time. So nil nil as the score by half time. I I thought I would be able to contain them but they would score at least one goal but England have not managed to do that and we are actually quite quite well off right now because nil nil is not a bad score for us in the first half but the second half is going to be even more difficult because England is going to go all out now they're going to try and score and win the matchup so let's see what happens in the second half and uh, yes we're going to be playing aggressive because uh, that's the name of the game right now for us. We got to attack, but we're going to be sensible as well. So let's keep it short and simple. Let's not just, you know, be heroic about things. Let's, uh, let's be calculative. Like the Germans, like I always say. Like the Germans. Play like the Germans. And we made a bad pass. And they make a bad pass. So we have kept the possession to ourselves. We have been rather selfish about it. And here's a chance for us. Oh! The defender comes in the way. The defender makes a stop. The ball goes out. Corner kick. Look at that. So England have not attacked as much as we would have hoped for them to attack. And one primary reason being that they have not been able to get a hold of the possession. The possession has primarily been with us and we have uh, maintained it quite well because we have made only a few uh, wrong passes, I would say. Here we go. Oh, fantastic shot. What a beautiful shot that was. And he was right open over there. Oh, look at that beautiful shot again. A turnaround shot with his right foot, but he makes... He makes it difficult, but the goalkeeper is comfortable, I would say. It's not a, you know, uncomfortable save for him. It's a very, quite a comfortable save. But we are on the momentum now. we got to use this momentum and score some goals. Ooh, that was a, that was a good, good aerial pass if we could have just got a header to it and made the pass inside. And, oh, that, that could have been our ball again. So England finally get the possession. And let's see what kind of attack they pull off. Oh, that was a close one. If that defender had not got his leg out and uh, stopped that ball, that could have been a goal. Sure shot goal. 
So as you can see, I've just gone for the attack right now. Because I thought I saw an opening, but I was wrong. I gotta go back to midfield. And prepare for another attack. Now he has, he has a player right, right in the wing. Oh, and we get the header, but we don't get the goal that I was hoping for. That was a good header right in front of the goal. But it goes high and handsome. Did the defender get it? I think the defender got that one. No, the defender did not. We did. And Walcott comes in for Milner. I ah, should have. Oh, come on. That was my ball. Oh, no. This is what I hate. This, when this happens. Oh, that was close. So, as I was saying, the England players really seemed to form an attack over there on that particular instance. And I thought uh, they were going to be coming up with a great attack. But they make a mistake in the pass and we somehow we get the ball and we are on the attacking side now. And as I said, uh, I just it was so tempting to go for that aerial pass. I shouldn't have. I made, should have made a short pass towards the outer side of the penalty box but I went for the aerial hoping that my striker would get in there and score a goal for us but he did not as expected and I make a really stupid mistake over here what a beautiful <laughs> sliding tackle right after I make the stupid mistake I make a beautiful sliding tackle over there and get the ball back what an exciting matchup this is. We haven't scored any goals, but still we are looking as if we will. Because we have had some really great opportunities over here. And it's been a good, decent game. And that's a goal. Yes. Fantastic. Just as I was saying two minutes ago, we haven't scored a goal. But we are looking for that beautiful, beautiful opportunity right in front of the goal. And we get it like half a second later. What a fantastic goal. That was simply too simple, I would say. Right in front of the goal, he just had to make a strike that would not be, uh, you know, stopped by the goalkeeper. Goes to the left of the goalkeeper. Makes a fantastic, fantastic turnaround shot. Look at that. Fantastic game by Uzbekistan. I, I just... <laughs> that feels wonderful to look at. One touch, turnaround, and the goal. So, as we were, we were attacking for so long, we are finally converted and that's it. I don't believe it. A last minute goal. I did not even have a look at the timer. I was so excited about the goal. We make it this time around. Uzbekistan beats England. And it was a close game. It was a fun game. It was an entertaining game, most importantly. And I had lots of fun. I hope you did as well. If you liked my videos, if you did like this one, especially... Please subscribe to my channel. We'll be making more videos about Pro Evolution Soccer 2013 and FIFA 13 as well. Do check out my other videos about Black Ops and plenty of more gaming action. Subscribe, like, comments, all the things that you love and I love as well. So thank you for watching and have a great time.